Hey, John here, affiliate marketer, and I'm gonna be going over in this video how to get started with affiliate marketing. Now, I've been doing affiliate marketing for over 10 years now, but I'm gonna do this video relevant to today, right now, in 2020, how to get started. So let's get it. Now, the first step to get started in affiliate marketing is join an affiliate network and get yourself an affiliate manager. Of course, you can just Google affiliate network and you'll find millions of results. Most affiliate networks are free to join and I've provided a helpful link down in the description of this video where you can join many of the most popular affiliate networks for free. Now, affiliate networks give you what are called offers to promote where you have to do way less work. You can promote existing products and earn a commission from them. All you have to worry about doing is sending traffic or getting clicks on the internet instead of all the other complicated parts of running a business. You don't have to worry about creating a product. You don't have to worry about shipping the product. You don't have to worry about warehousing the product. You don't have to worry about patents or legal disclosures. You don't have to worry about support tickets. You don't have to worry about merchant processing and all the other complicated parts of running a business, right? Also, when you join an affiliate network, you can get access to a wide variety of products so that you can test marketing different things if you'd like. And you get an affiliate manager with many affiliate networks or somebody that you can ask whose job it is to help you make money. Now, a few things that you can ask an affiliate manager that are helpful are what offers are hot right now which means what offers are the most popular and selling the most with traffic. And also ask your affiliate managers what traffic sources are working right now. You know, they'll say Facebook ads or YouTube ads or, you know, Google, SEO, whatever. Affiliate managers are also able to help you get approved for offers or the promotion of existing products that maybe you don't have access to and they can give you tips on how to run traffic to them or what you should be doing. This is much easier than trying to figure things out on your own. And the second thing to get started in affiliate marketing right now today is link up, you know, have your affiliate managers link you up with the top converting offers. Affiliate networks usually email out the top converting offers every single week. It's one of the reasons I suggest you subscribe to a lot of different affiliate networks. And you can organize these emails. What I do is organize these emails in a specific folder in my email inbox. And I check them every so often to figure out what trends are going on, right? So like a lot of masks, a lot of COVID related materials, a lot of sanitation related offers are very hot right now. These always change. So this allows you to stay on top of what trends are happening. You also won't have to guess what's working right now because you'll just know, you'll just be able to look through your emails and see what the top offers are across a wide variety of networks. You can even ask what type of traffic is working best and start there. You can also ask what offers are working best for your preferred traffic source. Maybe you don't like Facebook. Maybe you wanna do TikTok ads. Well, you can probably get an idea from some of your affiliate networks, your affiliate managers that will tell you what offers are working best on TikTok traffic. And lastly, the third step to get started with affiliate marketer as a beginner is you want to master one, and only one traffic technique and one paid traffic technique. Now it's good to start off with one free traffic strategy and one paid traffic strategy. You can invest time into the first strategy if you don't have lots of money. And then when you make more money, you can invest money into the paid traffic strategy. Now you have twice as many strategies working for you right away. And whenever you have more time, you put it into the one traffic strategy. Whenever you have more money, you put it into the other traffic strategy. And when you have a lot of money, you can even pay other people and outsource that strategy or the work to them. Or you could take your money and invest it all in the paid traffic strategy and scale that up even faster. Now, if you're doing a free traffic strategy like YouTube, for instance, which is my free traffic strategy, then you'll definitely want to invest money into a remarketing list, right? You want to build your remarketing list so that you can put up ads to your audience around the internet. You know them best and you know what products 
to sell to them. And this way you're combining a highly targeted audience, which already knows you with paid advertising and pixeled members so that you can sell more products to them. The combination of these two strategies will really set you up to win in the long term. I highly suggest it. In my case, you know my free traffic strategy, which is YouTube. And my paid traffic strategy, I've talked about it a lot, is Google Ads. I recently transitioned to TV ads. So now I'm doing TV and Google ads. I've spent a lot of time on marketing. I've been doing this for many years. So now I have three traffic strategies, really that I go after. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to focus and building skills and being able to always have something to do. So just keep doing it. Best of luck and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna learn more about affiliate marketing. Check out my other videos. I have a lot of free traffic strategy videos and join our community. We have a Discord channel where you can join the community and chat with other people that are starting online businesses. And if you just want to chat with me casually, make sure to follow me on Twitch. So I have a link to Twitch down below. I do semi-regular streams on Twitch. I play a lot of different video games after my kids are in bed. I don't mind chatting casually there, but don't expect too much. But if you just want casual talk with me, that's going to be the way to do it. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.